OpenAI's much anticipated video generation model, Sora, has just apparently leaked. Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief. We have a spicy one today as the internet is exploding with the report that OpenAI's Sora video generation model has just been leaked. Now, Sora is probably the most anticipated AI product that we've heard about this year that we haven't gotten yet. All the way back at the very beginning of the year, OpenAI blew people away with what was possible when they demoed Sora. For many, it transformed their sense of what AI video could do, and it really did feel like video was going to have its mid-journey or stable diffusion moment and become a big part of the texture of 2024. And that is sort of what happened. But it wasn't led by OpenAI, and it wasn't led by Sora. Pika Labs came out with a new version of their model, which was much more advanced. Luma Labs Dream Machine became a popular option for artists and creators. And Runway, in addition to releasing a new version of their model, also started forming partnerships with big Hollywood studios like Lionsgate. And what made that extra interesting is that even as OpenAI's Sora got delayed, there was a sense that maybe it was because they wanted to roll it out first to Hollywood, to have this be a product that came in through traditional entertainment industry rather than as a bottoms-up sort of service. Now, there are a ton of reasons why an advanced video model might not get released. It's an extremely expensive proposition, for one, and there are a lot of safety concerns when it comes to deepfakes and the use of AI-generated video for nefarious purposes. But still, most people have spent the back half of this year wondering, where is Sora? Well, now we have, apparently, access to it via a model that was uploaded to Hugging Face. You can generate a video in the PR Puppet Sora space, which is at the moment of recording having a seriously hard time presumably being crushed under the weight of people hitting it. But the group has also published an open letter. The letter reads, Dear Corporate AI Overlords, We received access to Sora with the promise to be early testers, red teamers, and creative partners. However, we believe instead we are being lured into art washing to tell the world that Sora is a useful tool for artists. Artists are not your unpaid R&D. We are not your free bug testers, PR puppets, training data, validation tokens, etc. Hundreds of artists provide unpaid labor through bug testing, feedback, and experimental work for the program for a $150 billion valued company. While hundreds contribute for free, a select few will be chosen through a competition to have their Sora-created film screened, offering minimal compensation which pales in comparison to the substantial PR and marketing value OpenAI receives. Denormalize billion-dollar brands exploiting artists for unpaid R&D and PR. Furthermore, every output needs to be approved by the OpenAI team before sharing. This early access program appears to be less about creative expression and critique and more about PR and advertisement. Corporate art washing detected. We are releasing this tool to give everyone an opportunity to experiment with what around 300 artists were offered free and unlimited access to this tool. We are not against the use of AI technology as a tool for the arts. If we were, we probably wouldn't have been invited to this program. What we don't agree with is how this artist program has been rolled out and how the tool is shaping up ahead of a possible public release. We are sharing this to the world in the hopes that OpenAI becomes more open, more artist-friendly, and supports the arts beyond PR stunts. As you might imagine, immediately first everyone tried to figure out whether it was real or not. Tibor Blaho writes, why I think it's real. This is using the OpenAI Sora API endpoint to generate and download videos with hard-coded request headers and cookies from the Hugging Face Space environment config. Chubby on Twitter writes, confirmed, OpenAI Sora really has been leaked. However, on the other side, AI Warper writes, I mean, if it's just an API request directly to OpenAI, it gets shut down in T-10 seconds. If it doesn't, it's BS. The other big discussion, of course, is what the artist wrote. There's a little bit of a sense of, yeah, duh, of course OpenAI is behaving like this. Mike Butcher quoted TechCrunch writing, they claim that OpenAI is pressuring Sora's early testers, including red teamers and creative partners, to spin a positive narrative around Sora and failing to fairly compensate them for their work. Butcher added, who would have thought OpenAI would do that? Dot, dot, dot. Of course, the other discussion is people sharing what they've generated. And the video quality does seem high. Although at first glance, it's a little harder to tell how much better this is than other options that are out there, given how much the rest of the video generation space seems to have caught up. I tried to create a video of a turkey getting up off a table and running away, but alas, the site was too crushed. Anyway, this is certainly something that I'm going to keep watching, and I will report back tomorrow on whether this is confirmed as an actual leak, or if it's just a big PR stunt. Ironically, a leak came on the day where Luma AI released a massive update to their Dream Machine video model platform. The end-to-end -end upgrade includes a new interface, a new mobile app, and a new image generation foundation model called Luma Photon. To get a sense of how many people have been excited about this space, Luma says they have over 25 million registered users since they launched in June 2024. CEO Amit Jain said, 
We built Dream Machine as a visual thought partner powered by a whole new image model called Luma Photon. It's creative, intelligent, and designed for the people who build our world. Designers, creators in fashion, media, and entertainment. The model also has improved functionality with natural language and can also draw from reference images. Jane said, Unlike prompt engineering where you have to carefully craft specific commands, Dream Machine lets you talk to it like you're talking to a person. This conversational interface makes editing and creating intuitive. With Dream Machine, you can give it reference images, colors, structures, or textures, and it will intelligently combine and iterate until you get exactly what you want. Luma also says that they've cracked consistent characters, which is going to be essential for creating longer content pieces that have a coherent through line. So maybe taken together, the story of this plus OpenAI is that the video generation space is very much in full swing. Like I said, a spicy one today, but for now, that is going to do it for the AI Daily Brief. Until next time, peace.